So, ready to fight. This seems manageable, right? Who's going first? These two are. But we can't set up here, unfortunately. I was thinking of denying them pretty hard. Can still... Go here, though. Can do three damage. What are we going to do with Gunnolf, though? I mean, maybe... I'll even... Wait, no. Who's going first? Eagle is going first, huh? going first. So I'll put him here, actually. And then go back here. Right? So, let's have a look at them. This guy will go first. He'll attack him, of course. Then this guy will go. Then that guy. And this guy. And this guy. Okay, let's see. Let us move backwards. Hit him for armor damage. Two armor damage, which is a shame. He can almost take him out. Getting one down to two is always useful, especially before it's his turn. But now I guess he's gonna throw his explosives. And they're going... Where do they go? Oh, here, okay. Right. So I can take one out right away here, but that means I get attacked by this fella, and I don't want that. Mm, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, two more movement, and I could, could move in here. Mm. I think I might actually start moving, like, if I'm here, no, he can't reach me, he can go till here, so if I go here, I should be safe. This could be a wrong decision, um, we'll have to see. Arrow trap. like he's gonna be going there. Mm, now people are just gonna be attacking Gunnolf a lot. Thread of the needle? No, I can't. Alright, whose turn is it next? This guy can't do anything. This guy can't do much. Then... This guy, 911. Can I get to him? I mean, can I get to a point where I can damage him? No. It's a shame. It's a freaking shame. Uh, can damage this one, and I will. Right. Nenda time. No diagonals, unfortunately. I guess I want to hit that one, right? Otherwise, he can do three damage to Gunolf. Uh, if I go here, that's one, two, three, four, five. 
six. So if I go what here, I should be able to reach him. Right? So four. Four damage. And I'm ignoring him a little bit, because I'm kind of hoping that he's gonna go towards here and walk into the arrow trap. I mean, otherwise, he'll burp, 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 go towards Gunulf, but he can move before that. So, yeah, he can't reach and he needs to do something before this thing explodes. Um, right. I mean, I guess it's these stones, right, that rub them off their exertion. Oh fuck, he's at like four. He's at like four armor, Gunolf is. Someone gets to act before him, huh? But I think he, he might get a decent... No, he won't actually. Or will he like, get a decent whirl in? Well, now he will, I think. Right, I could... Oh! That hits three. Beautiful. Well, after that, he'll take a lot of damage, of course. Tempest. Plus one. Still more armor damage. Five, one, seven. I mean, all the damage will just go straight to his, his armor now. His, his health now, I mean. Whose turn is it next? This guy? Yeah, I don't care about that one. Then this guy. Mm -hmm. And this guy. They're all just gonna wreck him. Can I do an arrow trap somewhere that would be beneficial? I don't think so. Okay. I guess in case this guy moves forward and wants to, to hit a lat or something, these guys explode for no damage, that's good. So armor damage. Uh, thread of the needle something. Oh yeah, here. Right. Also I could hit him here. So let's go here. Thread of the needle. One extra strength. Oh, now he's actually starting to conjure. That's good. So no damage to Gunolf. Still a couple turns. It's, it still it's his turn again, though. Also, no one's set up diagonally. But it's this guy's turn next. And then this guy's. And then this guy's. So... Mm, I think I want to attack that one, then. hit anyone else, unfortunately. We get nine willpower. All good. Four damage to him. Oh, I was hoping you would walk into the arrow trap, maybe. He's at 16 still, though. Uh... I guess I start occupying him a little bit. Take him down to seven. He'll be attacking Gunolf as well, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just too juicy of a target now. I would prefer not to lose him if I can. Let's kill him. All right, it's his turn again at eight strength. Um, guess I'll go here. Do a bit of a tempest. He's throwing explosives. So it's only a let and her. 
Alette will be able to do the 4 damage though. So she can do other stuff. Like... Takes an arrow trap. Take him out just barely before he summons a friend. Yeah, he's very likely gonna die. Oh, also, I can hit two. And kill two. Like this. That's beautiful. Because that'll be four on him, then five on him, right? Oh fuck! I didn't move out of the way. Now I will explode. Also, Odd Life didn't move out of the way. Well, she's in a diagonal stance, so it should be fine. Uh, seven five. Let's take him out. Right. Come in for ya. Shame about Gunolf. I bet he gets like a malice of minus six or something. Some bonus damage. Next up, this will explode, I think. Maybe it won't. damage. Oh, he actually gets to move. Look at that. And then I guess I'll take him out. And that'll be that, right? Right. Okay, there we go. You take a moment to survey the battlefield. Oh, can we do more though? Kill a few more. I think so. That's a lot though. That's more than initially. What? Um, okay. So it'll be this guy next, and he will beat up her. Nice. Beautiful. Or just straight up kill him. Oh god, this was a mistake. Why? Why did I do this? I didn't think the ones... Yeah. Oh well, we got lucky there, I guess. But still next. That guy, don't care. That guy, don't care. That guy. That guy. Hmm, okay. So if I go here, I should be able to set an arrow trap here. Now it's a let's turn. She can't do much actually. She kind of sucks. Set go here. Then not do anything. Right. Uh. Okay. Can mend my own armor. That won't help much. So I guess we'll arc, light arc lightning him for four damage at least. Oh, walked into my arrow trap. Mm. 
Why does he have zero exertion? Okay, three damage here. Yeah, I need to. I need to go here. Up this guy's path. So he doesn't go kill Odd Life. Yeah, he can go work on, on him, that's fine. Eight armor, that's good. I'll take it. Take strength, I mean. Uh, yeah, I can't do much here except knock down her. Hmm, alright, where do I put my arrow trap? Is he gonna kill... The Menda, 10, 6, he, will he would survive. Oh, she doesn't even... I mean... Right. I think I'll put the arrow trap here then. Hope he turns my way. Uh, so, well, I didn't see that one. Then, knocked out our Menda. Not good. Kill him. Ow. All right. Thank God. Now that the Mender is out, it's not very likely, I fear. We need to do this, obviously. There's another arrow trap here. To keep him out of the game for now. Hmm. can reach her now. E5. That's probably good. Doing too hot. Three, one. Uh, yeah, I'll go here. Could use that guy's armor. He's out of the loop for now. He can kill that one. And he should. Nine strength. So, yeah, he takes her out. She takes him out. Exactly, beautifully. He walks into the last arrow trap. Uh, I mean, I do need to do this, right? Start working on that. Also, 10 and 10. Ah. Oh, he can't reach, he can re can't reach. Uh, it's seven, ten, two. Where the fuck can he go? If I go here, I'm fine. Uh, and I can't take him out, unfortunately, but I can reduce him to three. Yeah. Go work on Eagle a little, little bit. I think he might be stonewalling now, actually. Don't know if that's a good idea. Mm, let's still talk off some... Yeah, yeah. No? Okay, let's go here. Hatchering ram. 911, 911. I mean, I need to start somewhere. Oh yeah, he's fine. A lab can do eight damage here if she moves. 
God, this is a close one. Getting there though. I mean, this one's gonna be tough. 18 armor. Oh, also, the fuck. Right, let's take that armor off. Oh. Well, now your guys don't have any armor, right? So let's kill that one. Strength is scary enough. This guy has only 3 strength, 3 strength, and 8 strength. He's at 7 armor too. So, more armor, be gone. Well, I was looking pretty bad though. But he can do one more good hit on the armor. There he goes. Mm, could kill him or him. Or do four damage here. I think I want him reduced, to be honest. Go down to three. That's three on all of them. Now let's let have a field day with them. Also, look at that, Alet and and Evil working together to save the rest of them, including the Menda. You can take that one out. The shot takes that one out. Phew, Haldan's razor. Minus 10 fighters, minus 11 Val. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of kills, though. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's the problem. We are losing fighters and Val through this. No matter how many have fallen, there seem to be more around the next bend. This is folly, says Ivor, flicking dark blood from his axe. I'm not one to retreat, but we should turn back. I'm inclined to agree, what with all the injuries. We can't really afford to lose more fighters than Baal. Back to the main road. You ordered the caravan and we lost one day's of supplies, I think. I guess that's all right for like 20 to renown or whatever we got. You order the caravan back around the head and back around and head back to the main road before any more casualties are had. The last at the least, the dredge may think twice about following too closely. Uh, also, we need supplies soon. Well, I'll decline to normal. A group of men with broad shoulders and thick cloaks approach the caravan. There might be outlaws you hear nearby, and the idea quickly ripples the clansmen. One of the strangers approaches, saying, We've run out of food. Any help would be welcome. Sad eyes reveal nothing of his motivations. Mm. Fight with us and earn your food. The men look surprised by your offer. In short order, they join the caravan and start sharing tales and drinks. Unfortunately, it is less than a day later that you discover they've vanished along with a sizable portion of your supplies. Great. Now people are gonna die. Alright, I guess we can't safe, safe scum this, right? It's like forever ago. Oh no, it's actually not. But this was probably after that, even. I mean, this is like 40 minutes ago, and I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, it's just after that. Great! God, there is a market. Thank you. You enter a village of miners who want to know what has been happening recently between the rumblings of the quake and sightings of the dredge in the distance. 
As you look around, you see a lot of elderly and children, and know that these people will only be more mass to feed. Mm, encourage them to join you. Let them make their own decision. You welcome anyone who wishes to join the caravan. Many do, while others choose to stay in their homes and see things through. You wish them luck. More clansmen. One renown gets six. Thank God. We get a good rate. So, we do have a level four. Plus three will per kill. All right. It's two will per kill. Hmm. See what we have, heroes wise. Mm. So she doesn't have a great item. Do I want to give her three will per kill, though? I mean, Alette could be a bit of a beast, right? If I give her more exertion and then wills per kill. It also means she has one less strength. Armor and will wouldn't be too bad. Mm. Also, everyone's very injured. Let's give Ivor the level in any case. Hmm. What did I want to get him? Well, yes, eight willpower. Maybe two of that, actually. Oh, no. Well, actually, he'll get the 16th armor, of course. More strength? I don't think. I think I'll actually give him more exertion. Hmm. I want to give him that though, and eagle the other thing. I think so, because he's more specialized in knocking off armor. And eagle might sometimes still choose to use his uh, shield, actually. I'd actually give eagle the god scale as well, and not have him. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to spend twenty renown on him though. Uh, how much can I get? Total available eighty four, and for that I need to spend twenty renown. How much have I left? No, I need to spend fourteen actually, and I'll have twenty left exactly. Well, that's perfect. I won't buy an item then, because then. I can upgrade Eidril as well. Continue. Confirm. So now he gets this one. Beautiful. And he'll be at 19 armor. And draw more aggro. That's actually the highest of all, right? Krumer has 13. I has 13. Uh, 16. Could get up to 19 as well with the other thing. But I think him having like six plus potentially two, so potentially eight armor break is too good to pass up. Uh, he'll have 20 strength as usual. Odd life still a bit faster. Alette has that extra strength. Also 33 kills, holy crap. 16, 23, it's not too bad. He's not out of anything though. Is that just because he's level five? Yeah, 16. Two out of two. No renown left, unfortunately. Mm. We do have a couple of days of supply, so maybe we should rest a bit. We have 12 days. Um. Maybe for one more day at least. And then see how things go.
Two more. So they're almost back to back to full then. Why does he still have a little plus next to his image? That must be a bug, right? Because he's m maximum level now. Look at you, Eagle. 19 armor and all. Pretty powerful. Uh, so I guess we leave. After having a short look at the map. Mm -hmm. Bought all their supplies. Only have 8 days left though. Now we're going to Houtstorp. Through High Pass. Mm hmm. Okay. We have normal morale. Despite resting for like four days. Look at that, shouts one of your clansmen. The caravan stops to watch Dredge pooling into the village you, passed, you just passed through. Uh, I hope anyone who stayed behind got out alive, says Alette, but you have your doubts. They're coming, says Ivor, pointing out a line of Dredge leaving the village and marching toward you. As you watch, the Dredge in front falls over, then the one behind it falls as well. You hear a twang to your left. Nid, the archery student of Odd Lives, who you recall deftly shooting a snow rabbit, is firing arrows down the hill. Another dredge topples. That's incredible, says Odd Lives, squinting. But we should get out of here. Mm. God. Hold on, let her do a few more. The next shot bounces off a dredge's armor, but the one after that doesn't, and the colossus falls to a knee. Another dredge goes down before you get moving again. Why don't you come along the next time you want to try out that bow, you tell Nid, who nods with a smile on her face. So we do have another hero, I think. Don't know if I want to know level of someone else, though. Even though having so many archers could be kind of powerful. Some clansmen have discovered a large patch of wild fruit. When you approach, you see some people have begun to sample them. A mother frets about whether they are safe after over overhearing one of the children say that it tastes funny. Others start gathering by the basketful. Gather as much as you can. Gather what you can, you tell the others. This is not a time to make. To be careful, I guess. We have to take risks here. Thankful to add any amount of food to your stores. Though a few people become a little drunk from the fermented fruit, nobody becomes sick. Good. 16 supplies, not a massive amount, but... It'll help for a day or two. And here we are, another godstone. That's beautiful. The godstone of Dunder passes around you. In the frozen climates here, it looks like the rock has split and is falling apart, held together only by the deep snow. Curiously, when standing between the stones, the wind drops off completely, picking up again once you've passed through. I almost wonder if we should rest here for the night, says Ivor, who seems to have noticed the same thing. With all the snow around, Dredge might not even be able to find us. Hmm. I mean, sure. You walk around camp before settling in. Along each strand of Dunder's massive beard is carved a different part of his story. You turn your head to and fro to read it. While the Loom Mother was the first to create, she soon, she soon found a counterpart in Dunder, who embodied her ideals in a masculine form. Dunder took some of her creations, gave them beards, and showed them the secrets of smithing. Though many remember him just as fondly for teaching them games and songs of birth. Morale improved. Morale declined. Okay. As the camp settles in, you notice a group of boys huddled around something. 
They show you an offering box carved into the goth stone itself. The box has an elaborate construction of interlocking pieces, which slide around when touched. You can't get it open, they tell you. It's like a puzzle. Try to open it. The boys take turns working out the puzzle and give you tips when it's your turn. Though you don't seem to make much progress, eventually they leave you to sleep until it's just you and a couple of other determined youngsters. Keep working. It's hard to know how long you spend sliding around the smooth puzzle pieces, but when people begin emerging from their tents, you know you're in trouble, exhausted from a long sleepless night. Worse still, the box remains closed as you shuffle warily, along with the leaving caravan. Oh, that's Hawkstorp, not too far off. There'll probably be, a, uh, be an event before that, though. There we go. We'll make it rations-wise, though, if nothing horrible happens. Ahead, you find what, find what appears to be a good number of peasants surrounded by brigands. One of the armed men looks over his shoulder and says, Gods be damned, this is all I need. Listen, don't interfere and one of these supply wagons is yours. While remaining silent, the peasants plead to you with their eyes. What's going on here? Nothing concerning you, he replies. And before you start telling me otherwise, these are my clansmen. Thought they could run off with every scrap of food in the village. Now, all I want is you to move on, so take your share or don't. Draw your weapon. The man turns completely towards you, shaking his head. I had a feeling you'd be that type, is all he says before the brigands rush you. And we'll have to fight humans again. And we can't use a let, unfortunately. Because I don't want her to be a murderer. Oh, Nid is actually rank 2 already. Uh, she can have 10 max strength, that's not too shabby. Could also get... What's that again? Just do will unrest. Plus 2 armor break. Mm. I mean, you can get a let's bracelet for the fight. What are her... So, puncture as well, and bird of prey. Bowmaster uses her longbow to shoot further than other less experienced archers, and she always hits her mark. Bird of Prey makes it possible for her to strike units before they are able to get an attack range, and allows her passive puncture to be used against more enemies who have been out of range from normal shot. Rank 1? Plus 2 range. Okay, that's actually pretty neat. Uh, so yeah. We'll replace a lat for this fight. Everyone else is fine as they are, I think.